Okay, so I take here. Can you show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi 4 Model B as a desktop? We're going to use a 64 GB SD card for our memory. Next, uh, 5 volts, 3 amperes, Type C power, power cable. Since you have a normal HDMI cable, you're going to use a macro to micro, macro to micro HDMI adapter for compatibility. Next, we're going to plug in our mouse. Then the keyboard. And last but not least, our Ethernet cable, the blue Ethernet cable. Powering this machine on. There are two LEDs flickering at the extreme end of the power. One showing power, the other one showing internet connection. Once it's on, this shall appear on your screen. It will load for a few minutes, so kindly be patient. Follow the procedure below Raspberry Pi is the Raspberry Pi 4. I suggest use this Raspberry Pi operating system. Then for storage use a 64 GB SD card. You may decide to customize your Raspberry Pi's operating system there are quite a number of settings and options you may decide to adjust accordingly or to your own satisfaction personally i'm not going to customize my operating system but i'm just taking you through to see the various options that you'll have Once you're done customizing your operating system, you click on OK. You click on the blue button that is if you have edited, but if you're not editing with me, you click on No. You proceed as follows. Patience when loading. A few moments later. Once that's over, we have a display over here. You click on next. The process is quite simple. You choose your location of your preferred choice. The IP address won't hinder you at all at all. A moment. This enables you to access your Raspberry Pi over SSH or remotely. Then next is the Wi-Fi. Put in your Wi-Fi password. Choose your default browser. You can delete the others if you're not interested in them, but I'll suggest you keep them. Click on next as advised.
By now, I've already realized that setting up this Raspberry Pi as a desktop requires a lot of patience, so don't be in a rush. Click on the OK button once done. Then finally you get something that looks like this. Thank you for watching till the very end. I've come to the end of our video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and you've loved something new. So I hope that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice time. Enjoy your festive holidays. See you then.